This is Played Against Sports. If you haven't heard of it, chances are you are without children. Um, this really is a place where not only for kids, but adults can come in and get gently used and new equipment. Jared joining us now. He's the general manager of Played Against Sports at 1808 West Francis in, in the Five Mile Shopping Center. How are we doing? Good, good. We're good, doing yep. good. Let's talk a little bit. When you come in here, I mean, you're thinking you're going to find bits and pieces of used equipment. Correct. You've got a beautiful blend of both new and used, and it goes throughout the store. Yeah, it really does. You have a ton of stuff here. Yeah, we do. <laughs> it comes in each day. It's so more and more. So. Okay, let's talk about some of the stuff that, that you have uh, relatively new. Uh, you've got uh, exercise machines. You've got bikes that people can ride. Some are used. And then a lot of new free weights. Correct, yeah. I mean, that's huge. Yeah, it is. Free weights, dumbbells, um, benches squat racks, kind of everything. So anybody who just wants to do a gym inside their house, they could come in here Correct. and and I'm not gonna say cheap, inexpensively get some stuff and they can add bits and pieces to it as they go. Correct, and they can also bring their old stuff in that they're not using and sell it and create their another discount for themselves. All right, see, there you go. That's the other part I wanna talk about. The guy's been around since 2016. Correct. Gently, and, and you gently buy, you buy gently used equipment. What equipment are you in need of? I mean, is there a um, high this demand time of year, stuff? really like snowboards, winter equipment, um, lacrosse gear, pretty much any sport we're looking to get. Um, okay. But right now the major ones are like winter sports, lacrosse, hockey, stuff like that. Right. Um, hockey, okay, we, we helped with the Eagles Ice Arena. Correct. Um, that was pretty cool, that was a ton of fun. Yeah. I did not know how many hockey players there were in Spokane and surrounding areas, and there's yeah. a ton. Yeah, it's growing and growing. Yeah, and so this is where I'm assuming the, the parents bring their kids, because you have the hockey sticks, you've yeah. got uh, the skates, you guys do edging on skates. Yep. Um, it's got to be, you got to be constantly selling the skates to the same families because the kids keep growing. Yeah, a lot of them will come in and get a pair of skates, and then the following year they'll bring those back in and trade them in to get a discount to get another pair of skates. So, or their gear, I mean, shin guards, elbow pads, helmets. Pants, You've got I mean, goalie everything. equipment over goalie there. Goalie Actually, yeah. did not smell bad. I'm not sure how you did that. That's a miracle. Well, it smells a lot better than my kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. But as we look through, you have also that ability to buy uniforms or to Correct. sell uniforms. Yeah, we just say. really started getting into the game of that, of doing team uniforms and team um, orders for like sweatshirts and t-shirts and hats and just kind of the whole picture of it now besides just the gear. All right, so any coaches out there, if you want to come in and check out the prices, they would love for you to do that. Um, the Seha comes here, Spokane yep. Area Youth Hockey Association. Um, they go through a lot of gear. Yep. They're busy. Yep. I yeah, we had, we had an order guide for them this year with some sweatshirts and the track uniforms and stuff like that, too. Mm -hmm. Man, I got to tell you. Is there anything here uh, as you work here that surprises you on used equipment that you see or that people buy? How unused some of the stuff is, really. I mean, people will buy it and they never use it and then they bring it in and sell it. I mean, it's... I have a few pieces of sport equipment like that. I'm not the most sporty dude out there. Yeah. but um, Usually the treadmills are the ones. They come in the treadmills. hangers and he, yeah, it, exactly. ellipticals I've, and turn into that. I may have dried a few clothes out on the, <laughs> on the treadmill. It, yep. It's a possibility. And, you know, it, it's one of those things where if you're interested and curious about it, you can come in here and they've got seven of them right over there as I count quickly, uh, along with, again, some of the um, some of the bikes, because that's sort of a huge thing now. Yeah, the exercise There's bikes and recumbent bikes have been really big for us lately, yeah. especially with cold weather coming. It's nuts. And then you can get on and, and watch videos, and, I mean, you can have the yep. whole thing happening right in your house. You never have to go anywhere. So uh, here's the deal. We're going to be talking uh, throughout the next several minutes with various people with Play It Again Sports on sort of their specialties. But even if they're not here, everyone knows a little bit of everything that goes on. But sports is highly, I mean, you've got to be relatively proficient in some of this stuff. Yeah. I mean, when I look at lacrosse gear, I go cross-eyed. I have no idea. Yeah, and a lot of changes in rules, too on stuff like the bats this year and stuff like that, which... Yeah, that is going to be changing. So there's going to have to be some new purchases Correct. there yep. and some switch outs on that. Is that over the weights of the bat or...? Um, just the efficiency of the bat and what it okay. does. Okay. All right. Getting them down. Well, I got to tell you, a bat never has really worked well in my hand. <laughs> I, 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 you can dumb it down. You can make it smart. It doesn't matter. It, it's still... I'll get to first base maybe occasionally. That's going to be about it. Jared, thank you so thank much you. for taking time with us. All right, so we're going to move about the store. The next thing we're going to do is talk about winter sports. That's coming up with Alex. Played Again Sports also, not only can you buy the equipment, but you can get it tuned up. And I think even if you have your equipment at home, Alex can tune it up. 
How you doing? Good, how are you doing? I'm good. good. All right, so board skis makes no difference. Makes you can no difference. tune them up, get them waxed, put an edge on them. Exactly. Yeah. Right? All are you above. seeing more and more people coming in to get the services done? Yeah, definitely. Once that snow started for us earlier <laughs> in November, that's when we started kicking off for us. We're getting more and more coming in here. All right, yeah, Thanksgiving and then yeah. boom, and now it'll come back up again. Exactly. One yeah. of the other cool things about playing against sports is that if you missed one of the ski swaps and your kids are growing, maybe they're out of the boots or their skis or their board, you come in here, they'll buy your old one, yes. you can buy yeah. another one, and you can go from there. It makes it very inexpensive at times for some of the sports that kids grow out of. Show us what you do. Yeah. So what is this? This guy is basically a giant sander. So any kind of burrs or any kind of scratches in there, I'm taking it off. I'm taking very thin layers of this guy off. Um, this one, I would probably end up filling it too, kind of fixing any of the gouges on it or anything like that. Um, a lot of this stuff we can actually get out by using this, this machine right here. So this is the base side of it. It does also have a uh, edger as well that, that cleans up the edges, gets any rust off them, sharpens them up quite a bit. So that then you can turn a corner. Exactly, exactly. You can dig into it. You don't have to worry about ice as much. It's, it, it, it's all, a lot better experience when you have a sharp edges versus you know rusty dull ones. Yeah, give us a shot. Yeah. So to demonstrate, uh, we've got all the poles. Yes, all we've the got poles. new hats. New hats. So yes. there is new gear here. There is new gear. Yeah, we do both new and used. We're dealers, just like anybody else. Okay, we're going to be talking about that uh, again, even more so after this, because it's not just skis. Yeah, but absolutely. You've got a great selection, and some of these are, I mean, relatively. They're not that old. No, no. You a know? lot of these guys are probably only about, maybe even two, three years old. Um, that's the majority as far as the age goes. We right. do have a couple of older ones, but the max that you'll see as far as age-wise goes is probably about seven years. Okay. Now there's a rumor that uh, children bounce. Uh, you find that out when they go skiing, but, but it's pretty neat. Look at the edging. I mean, it's, you know, you look at that. That is the new modern edge. You can make a nice clean cut with that. And then also you can get everything just ready to go here. Yeah, yeah one-stop shop. Get the wax, everything. All right, what, um, what else do we have? We've got the boards, the skis, we've got poles. Yes. We've got snowshoes. We've got snowshoes. And uh, again, that's all of the new equipment. You've got the boots over there. Yeah, I got boots I mean, over here. It is everything you need to go skiing, including some of the kits to pack the stuff out. Yeah, we do also have cross country skiing gear as well. Which is huge and becoming yep. more and more popular all the time, mm -hmm. as is the snowshoe. Yes. Uh, yes that's exactly. something that uh, it's great exercise. You get to see lots of the mountains. You're going up and down. You're seeing places that you normally wouldn't get to see. Mm -hmm. So uh, between that, I'm sure there's even some Nordic skis that work their way through here occasionally. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, it's pretty cool. All right, well, I want to thank you for taking the time to explain to us. Uh, here's the deal. If you have skis, if you have boots, if you have winter gear that your kids are outgrowing, bring it in to play it against sports. Alex, the guys, will look at it. They'll evaluate, figure out what its value is. Yep. Um, you'll buy it from them and sell them some more stuff if yep. they'd like. Exactly. So as those kids exactly. grow, they can grow into a sport and you can do it less expensively year round mm -hmm. here. And it's not just this, what else do you deal with? Are you just there, are you just? Um, the ski? major things I do is ski and snowboard. I am also um, one of the lacrosse experts here, but I'm kind of a jack of all trades. So all right, hold on a minute. Things. Let's, yeah, come on with me. <laughs> yeah. We gotta talk about this, because this drives me crazy. Lacrosse. Yes. It's like a thing now. Yes, it is actually pretty big. I coached for a youth team earlier. This All right, year. and we've got we've got several teams. Yes. They're growing in numbers. Mm -hmm. Big on the west side. Yes. New England, it's side. crazy. Mm -hmm. But in Spokane, it just sort of chugs along. Yeah, it's getting there. It's There's getting some high school big. teams too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. There's All high right. school teams. And is this does this equipment hold up to? Do you have much used equipment? It looks like it's all new. I've got a lot of used equipment. Okay. Uh, the majority oh, of the stuff that I have right now is actually used. In fact. Okay. Um, just the stuff that we come in uh, that has come in is just in really really good condition. Can you run in a field, flip this, and then catch it when someone flips it back to you? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. No stop or start, anything I like almost, that. I almost, almost want to try that, yeah. but I don't. <laughs> yeah. There's no way. All right, so that's very cool. So it's it's the gloves, the safety gear. We've got the helmets. Yes. Uh, again, some used. Uh, there's new up there as well. Mm -hmm. And it comes down to safety. I mean, lacrosse, yeah. it's a fast sport. Fast and they're, 
chucking a ball. I mean, it does bounce, but you know Yeah, want... that's a very heavy ball. Yeah, you don't yeah, want have to you bounce one of the balls before? Yeah, no, I haven't. <laughs> yeah, these guys are pretty heavy. Solid rubber. Heavier than a baseball, but a little bit smaller. There's a sign that says, if you bounce it, you pay for it. Yeah. So I'm going to take your word for it because <laughs> I don't have a... But no, that is that is heavy. No, you can feel free to bounce that one. I gave you a used one. So you oh, see, huh? Mess it up too much there. Oh, jeez, yeah. I almost hit myself. Rubber on rubber. Yeah. So that, yeah, that's crazy. And does that bounce when it hits the, the what do they call it when the, the, the cross the, stick? The goal. Yeah. Well, slightly. I mean, it can bounce from time to time, and it comes out like a tennis racket. But generally, kids can get a pretty good feel of it pretty well. It's it's a lot easier to learn of a sport than most people think. All right. Here's the deal. So lacrosse, as they grow up and older. Do the size of the, yeah, you know, they do, they change. There's tall slightly, ones, Slightly, slightly. Generally right. speaking, uh, the standard attack style stick um, is one size fits all, all the way from kindergarten all the way up to the professional. There's an attack stick? Yes, that's oh, the attack Oh, come on, stick this is right a great there. sport suddenly. And then they have a defensive stick, which is six feet long. Oh, okay. So you can go out and touch somebody a little bit farther away. All right. Yeah. All right, and it's complete. Mm -hmm. All right, there you have it's it. Play it against sports there. for all your lacrosse needs. Who knew? All right, so it's new and used equipment again. That's the helmets, the safety gear, everything you need, yep. including the pads. Alex, thank you very okay. much. Thank you. All right, we're going to head over to the front of the store where it's golf, but it's not golf. So in talking about golf, I mean, there's golf. There's golf clubs, but this is disc golf. Brad joining us now. This is sort of his area. Um, it started off as a very small area. I mean, they've been open since uh, 2016, and then it's just taken off, and in fact, they're going to expand it even more. Brad? Thanks for joining us. Yeah. All right, so here, I'll just pick this one. Uh, 10305. Mm -hmm. So these are the keys to disc golf. Yes. Not only do you have to have the ability to throw a, a frisbee ish, a disc, mm -hmm. what do these mean? So this 10 here is the speed, which means that is required arm strength to throw the disc. Uh, this is a distance driver, so all distance drivers are going to have a speed over seven. Okay. For the most part. So this Some one's going to go a long ways. That one's going to go a long ways, yes. Okay, because here's the fun part of disc golf, is that uh, all these discs, all of them, all do different things. Uh, some go around corners better, uh, others dive better, others distance, then there's the putter. Yeah, mm -hmm. putter, okay. And it all so depends on how you throw it as it, well. So there's just a few things going on here. So you're a player, mm -hmm. right? How many discs do you take in a normal game? I mean, I have... Probably 25. Quit giggling back there. This is the fun part. You throw two. Yeah. So do you. Yeah. They're all throwing. So yeah. like 25 discs. Yeah. I, th I have that. To, to be completely honest with you, I probably only throw like eight. Okay. But you got them just in case. Just in case. Just in case. I know other people who have that many, and they play all of them. And they play on a religious basis. I mean, they're mm -hmm. out there every week, every other day. Mm -hmm. Every time they get a break, they can go do it. Even in the winter. Even in the winter. Because it's like, the, you see these things? This is what that is. This is disc golf. This is the hole once you once you pitch it in or once you put it in, mm -hmm. and, and away you go. What's the farthest that you've actually put one in? Like, farthest I've ever, like a hole in one? Yeah. Probably like a 280 feet. That's the last good. That's pretty, yeah. All right, that's good. All right, let's talk about some of the other stuff that's here. Clearly, we've got the disc golf, and that is a particular sport. We've got rollerblading here, which, I mean, you can see the from small to large uh, when it comes to that. Uh, over here, we've got, again, some stuff that's available for sale. This is sort of the discount table, including winter gloves. Here's real golf. These are new. Mm -hmm. So you guys have a ton of stuff here. How do you keep track of it? a good question. <laughs> I love that. It's just, there's a ton of stuff here. Yeah. Um, what is your area of expertise? Because um, everyone say, here sort of has that area. Right. Um, disc golf for sure. I do soccer. I'm getting better at winter sports. I'm kind of his Padawan. <laughs> He's getting um, it all figured out. Yeah. So soccer is huge here. You, yeah. you can't, I mean, uh, there's soccer everywhere yeah. throughout nine months out of the year. Mm -hmm. um, used and new equipment here as well? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, what's the biggest seller when it comes cleats. to? Cleats. Cleats. Just kids growing, growing out of them. Sometimes kids can grow out of those things in one season. Yep. It's crazy. So mm -hmm. you can come in here and they can trade up and they can get some new equipment. Mm -hmm. All right, cool totally. beans. Totally. All right, we're going to move on. We continue to look inside Play It Again Sports. I'm going to take you into the deep, deep back. Jambro Safety 
Baseballs, two dollars forty nine cents. Hi, hey, we're in the uh, we're in the back. This is Nick. He is uh, one of the baseball experts when it comes to play it against sports. Uh, this is a this is a used glove. Um, it's in beautiful shape. It's twelve inch. It is not for my <laughs> big paw. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is more for the kids. But to let you know that on any sport, you're going to be able to find quality used merchandise along with brand new merchandise. So that's very cool. Yeah. Um, Jit. You have a nice blend of new and used yep. baseball yep. gear. Baseball's about 50-50. Okay. Um, a lot more of the bats are going to be more the new side of things, especially with the new regulations coming out for all the younger kids. Right. The USA Baseball stamps, we do have all those bats in as well. Okay, so, so that's that's what we're seeing here on yep. some of these. Yep, so that's inch. what... Uh, and that's USA what, Baseball. Yep, that's what that is there on the actual barrel itself. Okay, now what... It, what is the deal on this new bat now? Is they it? just changed the regulations to the bat. The ball's not coming off as fast. So they're a little bit deader, a little bit safer for the kids. Okay. So, you know, they're not kids aren't having balls flying at them super, super fast. So no one's getting hurt. So it's this high tech yep, yep, and a new tech. bat. Exactly. So it slows it down. Yep. Whoever thought that would ever happen? I know, right? We need to make this go slower. <laughs> this game's not slow enough as it is, especially with the little ones. Exactly. Yep. But, but they're here. 32 yep. inch bats, 28, 29, 26. I mean, all little, yep. to, little to kid to high school, you know, all the BB core. And then we've got some softball bats too, fast pitch, slow pitch. And we even got some wood bats in stock. So. You know, it's kind of that's everything. It's just something you don't see much of anymore, but that's something about a yeah. wood bat. I know, right? I, but I'm horrible at this. <laughs> yeah, I, I talked to Jarrett. I'm not very good at it, but yeah. that wood bat feels so much better in my head. Well, the sound off of it is just nice. It's got to be it. Yep. It's not yep. the ting. No, yeah, ting. it's that just crisp. Yeah, it's There nice. we go. Yep. Um, again, we've got uh, all the stuff over there, including, again, some of the practice balls, face masks. Uh, we've got helmets up there for those who, you know, want to be serious about the game and want to protect themselves. And, of course, uh, kids grow. Mm -hmm. And exactly. they outgrow yeah. their gear. Exactly. Yep. So you guys bring them in, switch them out. Yep. Boom. Exactly. All right. Um, you know what's funny, though, is we're baseball. Yeah. But look what we have here. For 40 bucks, you can, you know, get in a pretty good pair of snow pants. Exactly. You guys yeah. are packed and stacked in here. We really are. And we like to be uh, everything we possibly can do. All the team sports, all the individual sports. You know, what, what else can we do for you? All right. Here's something you can do for me. Tell me about hockey because that's okay. hockey. We've talked about it once already. Yep. But it's those skates and putting that edge on so that yep. you're floating and flying. I know the physics yeah. behind an ice skate. <laughs> okay. That you're melting. Yeah. You know, you've yep. got a puddle of water underneath that yeah, you skate. You've got to go fast, right? And you've got to go fast, yep. and you've got to make sure that that skate is just as sharp as, as humanly possible. You yep. guys do that. We do, yeah. We drop in skates, uh, crisp edge, sharp edges, grip the ice a little bit better, gives you that turning, you know, as so you can turn on a dime. If you got those uh, those dull edges, you tend to fly out. Okay, and, on and the ground. figure skating? Do you do we figure, do figure skates, skates too? Well? Yep, yep. We do figure skates. We do it all. Little kids, all the way up to the adults. I hear it tell that it's fun to put figure skates on someone who plays hockey because that. <laughs> Toe pick really messes them up it's for about pretty, 20 yeah. minutes. It's pretty comical, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you got to change the whole dynamic of how you're skating. So, right. but yeah, I like the figure skates because I have a break. Yeah, you know, there's that. No, but I can't skate either. Yeah. All right, uh, play it again, sports. I have lots of used equipment that I can bring down here. Uh, all the things that I've tried <laughs> and failed at. Um, walk us through a little bit about how putting an edge on a skate. You know what 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 yeah, the machine so you, does. You just throw it on the wheel. And it's got a holder for it, so the skate goes in parallel to the wheel. And you just grind it from heel to toe or toe to heel, depending on who's doing it. Everyone's a little bit different. Just uh, the wheel just kind of grinds it through. You just make sure everything's level and just get a nice sharp edge on it. And there's a bit of a bevel that's right in yep. between yep. there. Yeah, right down that middle. Yep. So you that get, is so important. So it's a hollow. It's a, a rounded hollow. Mm -hmm. So you get your two edges that come down. It's the exact opposite of a knife. The knife's got the two edges that come to one point. Your two edges on your skate come and rounded. You're basically putting a catamaran on the bottom of a skate. Essentially, yeah. In order that it goes faster. Exactly, yep. Yeah, that go is figure. a figure. Look at that. Yeah, See? Yeah, go figure. It's the little things I know. Take a look. Side and this edge is too long, you just slide out. 
Oh, I wouldn't know that, but I'll trust you. Yeah, you gotta make sense of it. <laughs> so yeah, that's the case sharpening. No big deal there. You know, it's good and sharp, good to go. Okay, and then uh, again for kids, how often do they do this? Uh, it depends on how hard they're skating. Typically, an answer is about five to six hours of ice time. Okay. So it just depends if the kids are going in hard, if they're on the on the boards, or if they step on the concrete. You know, mm -hmm. you get those folded edges. If the parents just kind of feel this a little bit, if it's pretty dull, I probably should bring them and get them sharpened. Or if they start to see the kids kind of flop up a lot of times, mm -hmm. like turning and they're just sliding out, bring them in. We'll get them sharpened up real quick. And while they wait, or is that something where it's got to stay? Yeah, no. While they wait, yeah, it depends on how many we've got going on and what's going right. on in the store. It could be anywhere from ten to twenty minutes for a skate sharpening. Okay. Depends on how quickly we got what we got going on. All right, so hockey, we've got, again, not only do we have the sticks, some of these sticks, yep. I don't know if you know this, cost $300. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's crazy. You yep. have a, a huge selection of new sticks, used sticks, yep. Yep. plus you've got all the, the gear in here, yep. and kids grow. We keep feeding yep. them. Yeah, kids do grow. You know, that's, <laughs> parents, you know, I hope they don't grow anymore, but they do. They keep growing, so. I have heard that uh, when the used equipment comes in here, I guess one of the things is how surprised that, how good of condition it's in. I mean, yeah. you got some kids that play hard, yep. and you you know yeah. them. But there's a lot of kids that come in here, it's not used much at all. Yeah, it's almost brand new. Some of the gear that comes in, you're surprised it's still got the tags on it. It's still yeah. brand new. It's like, hmm, okay. Well, someone apparently did not want to follow through on exactly, this Exactly, yeah. I mean, so it's, you know, good price, good stuff. All right. Going in. Biggest surprise for you, working here? Um, you know, just the amount of the gear that comes in. And the, the condition that it comes in. A lot of these kids that come in, you think, yeah, the kid's an athlete. And you just see his gear, and it's, he grew a lot in the last couple of years. Like, <laughs> it just doesn't get to use know? it much. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But then, you know, you get the parents who, they do that, and they're, they're really surprised about the prices and how quickly they can outfit their kid and what they've got going on. Right. You know, and it's, you well, know, helping them get in the gear is fine, I'm too. a skier. My boys yeah. are skiers. Yeah. And over the years... Uh, a dozen pairs of skis. Exactly, yeah, and, so you know. And boots, and yeah, you, yeah. you know, it's it's the way yeah. it goes. Exactly. All right, I gotta wrap this up. I yeah. wanna thank you very yeah. much for Thanks taking some time it. with us. Yeah, exactly. All right, play it again, sports. Here's the bottom line, 18, 1808 West Francis. Yeah. You're gonna come in here, it's in the five mile shopping area. Um, you're gonna come in, you're gonna see a lot of guys like him running around here. They're gonna be able to answer your questions. More importantly, they're gonna be able to tell you whether they have new and used equipment in your size. They have just about every size out there, including little tiny figure skates and big figure skates, yep. along with the hockey gear yep, and everything exactly. that goes with it. Yep. So yeah, you're gonna be able to find some stuff. In fact, I, I see bike parts. Man, there's everything here. I'm telling you, there's everything here. This is the back shop, by the way. All right, play it again, sports. If you have used equipment that's sitting in the garage that you keep tripping over, maybe it's downstairs, maybe it is one of those, uh, what are those silly things that you walk behind and then we hang clothes on? No, if you have, uh, if you have any of that exercise equipment that's not getting utilized, bring it down here. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you how much they're willing to give you for it. And again might be just a handy way to get rid of that and get it onto another family that's going to use it. All right, once again, Play It Again Sports, they're open for you. <laughs> Amber joining us, uh, again, part of the Play It Again Sports family, of course, and you have a family. I do, I have two boys, okay. three and six. Three and six, what are they into? Uh, little one's in soccer, older one does karate right now, he likes hockey, he likes baseball. Just about anything with a ball. Okay, anything that in which he is going to continue to grow and go through the growth spurts about every eight months. Yes. So have you already upgraded? Have you been through the change of shoes? The change. We have. <laughs> We've had to change cleats mid-season for baseball last mm -hmm. year. Um, we can do hand-me-downs to our old, younger child, right. but sometimes that doesn't really work out with seasons. So. Right. Just depends. Yeah, we come here. <laughs> this is where parents can come and be king and queen of the land. Exactly. Let's talk a little bit about, uh, for those who are gonna come in often, um, they're gonna be able to get a reward. Yes. Okay, what's that? So our Five Stars Reward Program, uh, customers can sign up online. They can go to fivestars.com okay. or come into the store and sign up. It's really easy. All we need is their phone number. Um, they earn points. For every dollar spent, right. new customers that sign up will receive a $10 off coupon. Oh, look at that right there. Yep. Boom. Purchase the $30 or more. Um, it gives them access to deals that we don't offer the general customer. Okay. Um, early access, Black Friday. Oh, cool. Our Five Stars customers got to come in two hours earlier, um, got entered into some special drawings. So, Neat. Yeah. Okay, really fivestars.com, or they can come right in here in right. the store and do it. Right. It is an amazing store, by the way. Thank you. And you've got amazing employees. Everybody seems very cool, and they know what they're talking about. Yeah. That's got to help you. I mean, and when you 
see the customers, they're getting that assistance. They're they're almost being coached. Right. <laughs> you it's, know, it's, like, it's great. I mean, the employees that we have here know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. So, a mom who doesn't know a sport can come in and talk to any one of our employees and get all their questions answered and feel good about the purchases they're making. All right, are you going to be the smartest mom on the block I when don't it comes know. to sports? I don't know if I'll be the smartest mom. I'm learning as we go, <laughs> definitely learning as we go. Open since 2016, yeah. uh, it's been a success. It will continue to be a success. Thank you for spending some time with us. Great, all right. thank you.